Hey pilots, Skip here. I know I said I was going to do this in, in just regular time here and finish this up, but uh, just a few things I've got to do and then the other couple of things I want to do are actually going to take some time and in doing it in real time it's going to be kind of boring. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this in speed time fashion. If there's anything I need to explain or anything needs to be explained or something, just ask me. You know, just uh, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, I pretty much try to get get back to almost every comment I see. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to speed this up for you. I'm going to put, throw this thing back together. I'm kicking around the idea of throwing some camouflage on this uh, on this warthog. So that's one of the reasons I might want to have to uh, do the, the speed build thing type of deal. Okay, so hold tight. came out pretty good. I did cycle it, it works, goes through. Uh, the wing attachments where I had to had to uh, fix those, those are nice and tight and solid, plus they've been sitting for about a week uh, with the foam tack so that it gets it a, a real good solid seal on there. And uh, about a week is about the perfect time for foam tack to get at its full strength. So I shouldn't have any problems with that. And the wings are already repaired too, they're in the other room. I'm considering doing a little bit of a, a camel paint scheme on this thing yet, but uh, uh, waiting for a little bit of weather to change, <laughs> which probably isn't going to happen for quite some time. So we're probably just going to pack it up until uh, uh, the weather changes a little bit and I'll be able to do some camouflage uh, paint work on it. But all the intent, uh, all the insides and everything else is done now. We've got the uh, battery trays installed. Everything works. I plugged it in. I even plugged the wings on just to make sure that uh, I still have everything connected right. And everything is a go. So motor's working, front end is steering. I did have to uh, finagle a little bit with the uh, uh, front linkage just to get it, you know, get it right so that when the gear came up, the wheel wasn't turned because I had it, <laughs> had it kind of grossly uh, uh, improperly set. But I found that right away as soon as I tried to try to do it, it you know, put the gear up and, and it started to bind. So I dropped it back down, flipped it over, and loosened up that uh, uh, that little cinch up there for the steering nose and then uh, straighten out the gear and tighten it back up again and cycled it a couple of times and everything's fine. Gear doors work whole nine yards so should be ready to go once uh, spring comes again. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys 
Merry Christmas, Happy Happy New Year. I will see you guys shortly. I think there's going to be another build coming up pretty soon, uh, sometime here in December. So we'll catch you then. Oh yeah, I pulled the trigger on the uh, 8S Raptor. See you then.